in the top three above Adrian Broner. That's Where gonna, do you that's gonna change after you put him me. on well, your he resume? He hasn't been in the ring with me yet. <laughs> so how can he how can he rank that? That's true. How could you rank somebody you never been in the ring with them yet? Is there a place that you can see him falling into the rankings of your own resume? I know you fought like the Honestly, who's who. I just feel like you think he's better. You know, is, is he one of your top opponents to date? I mean, to be honest with you, the Keith Thurman fight was probably his best performance I ever seen him, and it was a loss. But I never, and when he fought Paulie, he looked good. But I never seen him really look spectacular. Never. I only seen him look good at like two times in his whole career. And one was a loss, and one he fought. Paulie, um, who's a good fighter, but but I I I've never I, didn't, I haven't seen him look good. Like even his last two fights, I don't he didn't look good to me his last fight. When he says that he fought a smaller guy and couldn't stop him. that he could outbox you, dance around the ring, etc. Like how do you take that? Do you think he's ever showcased those kind of Hell, elite he boxing is not skills? Do that. <laughs> <laughs> he, I, I really believe he's gonna try. <laughs> I really, he, he, I really think he, thinks, he really thinks it's easy to do that against me. Mm. And if he does that, it's like, I'm a good fighter. I, I fight real good coming forward. Like, that, I fight better at coming forward than counter punching. So, I fight, I'm a good aggressor. Like, when I fought Khan and all those guys, I was just mm -hmm. coming forward. So, I'm good at walking people down, so. He said, unlike you, because you said you don't train for a specific fighter. He's training specifically for you. Uh, how does that impact training camp? He said that most fighters do train for a specific fighter. He said that you're, you know, being the exception to the actual rule when you said that on stage that you don't train for a specific fighter. With him in mind that you, you know, you're kind of taking him lightly. I don't know what the hell he talking about. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't do you think that. most fighters <laughs> don't train for? I for don't their understand opponent? what he's talking about. <laughs> I really don't. It's like. Do you, you train for, for you the, can't for, train for one person because you never know what he's gonna do that night. Okay. I could train for Sean Porter to come to me all night, but all if right. he comes out and does something else, it's like, mm. all right, what's what's Plan B? Mm. You had to you had to you had to train to adjust to all styles and make adjustments. That's what a true champion is about. Mm. Just go out and go out there and make adjustments from round one. It's like you can't train for Danny Garcia like what you see on tape. Mm. You see me box, you see me slug, you see me do everything. I seen him just come forward his whole career. Now from the fans' and, perspective, and no that. one's been ever, no one's ever been able to break him. Mm. No one's ever been able to break my will. I fight to the very end every time. Never mm. been knocked down. From the fans' perspective, there's quote unquote boogeyman of the division, Errol Spence. You know they've kind of placed him there as like the king, the top dog of 147, especially since Keith Thurman has you know been pretty quiet lately. Um, he said he's been promised the winner of this fight after that, you know, for a unification bout. The fans want to hear you guys just merely say his name out there. They feel like you guys. I'll fight don't say anybody. His name like I much. said, I'll fight Spence. Okay. I'll fight anybody. I'll fight anybody. But he said that he said that we only call his name out when we got fights. Yeah. I never called it. I never once said his <laughs> name in my career. I never once said no fighter's name. You go. You could go through every interview I ever been through on YouTube or anything and, and and look me calling somebody out. I never did that in my career. Mm -hmm. They promote me, they call me out. So I was like, I'm gonna let you promote me. <laughs> Danny. You but I'll fight this. anybody, like I said, if his name is offered to me, <clears throat> at the end of the day, Al Heyman makes all the matches. So I could call out whoever I wanna call out. If you don't wanna do it, then. Does he deserve that pointless. title he has? The fans have him as like this unbeatable, you know, I mean, Mayweather-esque kind everybody of character. Gets a, everybody gets an image, like, they just happened to make me the underdog. When I was the amateur, I was the number one amateur. Mm -hmm. Like, I fought, I was the number one amateur. Like, he, he was fighting 165. Mm -hmm. Porter was fighting 165, I was fighting 132. I was the number one amateur. I was the national champion at 132. I fought everybody, Terrence Crawford, everyone. They were scared to fight me. They, was, they didn't want to fight me. And then when I turned pro, all, all of a sudden, out of everybody, I got this dumb ass image where I'm the underdog. <laughs> I'm like, how the fuck did I get this shit? <laughs> but it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. I feel is. like you take it gracefully and you kind of in, like like take the underdog persona right. on like really gracefully. Is that something that you enjoy or do you kind of like being the A-side? Like, um, what's your preference? I like it Does now. Does it give you that I like it now. I, 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 when someone says I'm supposed to win, it actually surprises me. I'm like, oh, shit. You know, <laughs> 
you are really someone who does the research, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, you know, it, it is what it is, man. At the end of the day, I know what I do. I know what I do. I'm telling you one thing. You can't be a number one amateur getting lucky. Danny, you hear this in sports all the time across baseball, basketball, football, boxing, whatever. How...